Who the fuck is this? Son, get back to the ranch, and I'll explain everything. And I mean everything. Can't you just tell me now? I guess not. Hey, Carl. Hey, what the fuck, man? Hey, Torino, I, I told you my bad, man. What the hell can I say? I screwed you Calm over. Calm down, kid. Just go ahead and kill me then. Calm down. Man, you ain't number the fucking Yale dealer anyway, Torino. Shut up and sit down. What, you think I'm a drug dealer? And what, you think you're a crusader for good? Do you have any idea what's going on? Any idea whatsoever? Do you? Do you? Nah, I pay as little attention to things as possible. Do not be a fucking smart ass with me. I work for a government agency. It is not important which one. I will try not to confuse you. Yes, when we last met, I was involved in battling threats in Latin America by any means necessary. That does not make me a drug dealer. Now, the money that we raised, the friends that we won over, have helped us immeasurably in our overseas interests. Government agency? Kids like you, you expect heroes. We're fighting a war out there. I'll be a hero and I'll lose. And what do we have? Communism in Ohio. People sharing. Nobody buying stuff. That kind of bullshit. So relax and listen. All right, all right. I'm listening. I know what kind of guy you are. I need a guy like you. To do things I can't get caught doing. Like what? I need you to commandeer a truck. A rival agency with a confused social agenda. They got things that we need. Now, this is a two-man job. You'll need a friend. Use your sister's boyfriend, but don't tell him a thing. Remember, I'll be watching you. I got here as fast as I could, CJ. Yeah, you sure did. How you know I needed help? <laughs> Man, you losing it, Holmes. You phoned me a half hour ago. I did? I mean, oh, yeah, I did. Sorry, man, I got a whole lot on my mind. Come on, man, look out. We need to jack a truck on the freeway. It's headed to San Fierro. We can get on the freeway here, Holmes. What's the plan? I'm gonna pull alongside, and you're gonna hop aboard. Oh, shit, you didn't mention that on the phone. It'll be a walk in the park. Tell Kendall I love her. There's a rig up ahead. Keep level, CJ. Keep level. Keep level, CJ. Keep level. Closer, CJ. Closer. Keep level, CJ. Keep level. Closer, CJ. Closer. Closer, CJ. Closer. Get this guy on the road! Keep level, CJ! Keep level! Match the truck speed! Speed up, CJ! Okay, that. CJ, Thanks. let's get this rig back to the garage.
They say beauty is skin deep, but what about the energy? I have inflicted a lot of pain in my time, and some of it was really beautiful. For those who really know what it takes to be beautiful, Herr Gruber's spa. You are nothing. Do what I say. After running residential facilities in Germany, Switzerland, and then Brazil for many years, the renowned German beautician, scientist, and disciplinarian has come to San Andreas. At Herr Gruber's spa, you'll be taken to a whole new level. Have you not read the book? Strength, good, weakness, bad, 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 bad! We won't pretend it doesn't hurt, but these days, beauty is worth fighting for. Oh, you want a potato! You are less than a potato! Less, less! Who needs dignity when you're thin? You'll never see people so skinny, happy, and undignified as when they leave our spa. Hair Gruber's Spa. Why do trees talk? Why are there dinosaurs? Why do people die meaningless deaths? Is there other life in the universe? Why do I have to be monogamous? Do you want answers? Have you searched literature and philosophy for meaning? For years, man has combed the pages of history, searching for enlightenment. Finally, the answers are here. We at the Epsilon program know religion is a deeply personal experience. Join us, and you will be brought to light. Kiflam. I'm the Honorable Chris Formage. All you have to do is read and understand the Epsilon Tract, and the secrets of the universe will be open to you. The Epsilon Program. This time, God, it's personal. Roger that, big monkey. I got a 13-6 fat vulture. Need to acquire a drowning baby. Over. What? In 15 by the fat moon. Break your heart. Over and out. Carl, I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, I'll do you a proper injury, man. What you knowing about my brother? <laughs> Relax. He's in prison upstate. D-wing, cell 13. To the left, I got a child killer who wants to rip his throat out. To the right of him, I got a white supremacist who wants to eat his heart, to be precise. Now, don't worry. Tenpenny and Pulaski are really relatively benign, unless, of course, you're a family member of Officer Pendleberry, whom they shot when he threatened to expose them. But you do know all about that, right? <laughs> Dang! Hey, man, how you know all this stuff, man? And won't you stop it? You just don't understand, do you, kid? Look, it's all white knights and heroes. We have to make decisions, kid. You know, I try to set bad people on other bad people, and sometimes I let good guys die. He's your brother, but to me, he's just collateral. It's a very delicate decision. Look, over here, you got all the scumbags inside the country. And over here, you got all the scumbags outside the country. And me and my colleagues, we're the fucking pivot. Keep the government in work. Which reminds me, come here, okay? I need you to head over here in the buggy outside. Okay? Okay, let off a flare. We got some precious cargo needs collected. Hey, hold up. What about my brother and all that shit you was talking hey, about? Hey, don't worry. Sweet's just fine. He gets touched. A prison guard goes home and finds that his wife and kid have been murdered. Everything's under control. We'll talk later. No. Come on, get out of here. Having trouble finding a place to park? Notice the lines are getting longer at the food store? 19 million illegal aliens live in this country, most of them in San Andreas. Our organization has banned immigration green cards outright today. Preserve the status quo in our favor. Vote yes on Proposition 832. Illegal aliens do a valuable job packing groceries and caring for your lawn, but they should learn. America is not a land of handouts. While they're illegal, they have no rights, they have no status, they have no expectations. And they're happy to be here. It's a win-win for America. If we give them green cards, soon they'll be just like us. Overweight, unhappy, and too lazy to do menial tasks. Vote yes on Proposition 832. 
There's a gritty new show this season on Weasel, where the law is the drama, and the drama is the law. What the hell did you go to law school for? I haven't changed at all. I was always overcompetitive and shallow. <laughs> I have a disabled brother I pretend doesn't exist. I only married you because you've got great guns. Law. Catch it Thursdays on Weasel before it catches you. for these incredible high-technology polyester shoes to walk around the mall and shop for more sports equipment I... Jesus, what took you? Torino, where you at? Miles away. No time for niceties, kid. Choose a vehicle, grab the equipment I've provided, get to that drop zone, and wait for that package. Jesus, will you stop doing that? Hold up! Shit, pilot says he's got trouble. Two agency choppers coming in on an intercept. Can you see them? Yeah. Shoot them down! Protect the cargo at all costs.
Get the package back to Las Brujas. Where are you? You giving me the heebie-jeebies, man. Carl, I will always be watching, or listening, or both. You in my you wanna shoot you as well? Respond to a 1037 in North Logan County. Stop back on that scene, fuck for It's amazing. What's up now, Torino? This history, it's all lies. It says Hitler killed himself, and then we nuked Japan. And people believe this shit. <laughs> Jesus. Well, it'll make them sleep better at night, I guess. Hey, man, what did you want? Is you gonna free my brother? No. Not now. And here's a little news flash. I said that to get you to do something for me. Man, you real fucked up. But the shocker is, we are gonna look after him. Because I need him alive as much as you do. Oh, thanks. You know, after what you've done for me, it's like you're a pro now. I got double agents in Panama. I want to put a price on your head. A Russian spy. Little fat Boris-looking guy. He's asking for clearance to interrogate you. Russian style. Calipers on the genitals. Feels good. You like it. That ain't nothing cool, man. Just leave me alone. You bad news. Don't worry about it. The Russians got bigger things to worry about than your genitals, believe me. The whole country went to shit. You know, we tried hard to put a lid on it, but that idiot Gorbachev with his little strawberry in his forehead, he gave away the crown jewels. Still, they got their, you know, their boy in the White House. That was nice. So? What you want me to do? Now listen, I need you to buy me some property, okay? Shouldn't cost that much. You offer them a dollar. If they give you a hard time, kill them. I'm gonna need you to start doing some real wet work here for me soon, okay? Enough of this little girl bullshit. Now get out of here. Come on, beat it. It's the candy bar that's fun to try. It's half smooth white milk chocolate, and the other half what is deep block. dark chocolate. Oh wow, it's enormous. How about cream filling? That too. Put it in your mouth. Yes. For whichever side you crave, pick up a zebra bar and let the chocolate melt in your mouth. An Asian pastime just went cyber optic. Oh, look, I'm playing with myself. It's Handheld gaming action is here. The Exorbio game system fits in the palm of your hand and provides hours of fun. Oh, look, I'm playing with myself. Once you discover the action packed action of Exorbio, you won't be able to stop. Exorbio. Take your newfound addiction everywhere. The three color screen is just like real life. Play games like Morning Missile Crisis, Free the Hostages, One Eyed Monster War, Lightsaber Struggle, Zed, Squirt, Pocket Pool, Mortal Sand. But be careful, you might go blind. Oh, I'm out of batteries in my army! Exorbio! Or link up your Exorbios for private sword fight battles. I wonder if Dad still does it! Exorbio! Let 
the games commence. Exodio. I love my kids more than anything. Which is why mom keeps me clinically obese, so I won't run away. That's where Kate comes in. My sister's son got to 18 and just ran away. She was brokenhearted. Now me and little Joshua celebrate every day with Kate. He's my number one and knows it. Now he's not running anywhere. Why not celebrate with cake every day? Celebrate with cake. I love my husband more than anything. Which is why I was surprised to find her sleeping with the teenager next door. Now I take each day one day at a time. I didn't know what I had till it was almost gone. Now I'm fit. It's missing something. Maybe a tennis court and a pool will help motivate me better. Very nice call, very cute. Uh, so listen, now, <clears throat> you're gonna have to learn how to fly. No, I ain't. Yes, actually you are. I set out a series of tests for you. You can access them on that TV. You're gonna have to prove to me that you can fly if you're gonna continue working towards your brother's freedom. Shit, whatever, man. Very nice. What's Torino up to now? I'm feeling a little exposed here. What's your take on this? Damn! I thought them was your people. Listen, Carl, 
We've got a problem. Some traders from another department think they can help the overseas situation by financing militaristic dictators in exchange for arms contracts. Hey, ain't that exactly what you do? Well, kind of, but we get to pick our dictators. Degenerates that we can control. We try to stay the hell away from these guys with principles, because that just muddies the waters. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, of course, these idiots have stolen a consignment of landmines, and they plan to offload them in the Middle East and cause a little ruckus, and Ariel's crazy and have a lot of problems. I mean, Carl, do you like maiming people? I'm curious. Maiming? Some people? Shit. Anyway, the point is, you and me, Carl, hey, we're the same. Now, yeah, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. But if you screw this up, it causes a tinderbox situation all over Latin America and the Middle East. Now, look, I spoke to the big man. You got clearance to eliminate these fuckers. How's that? Huh? Man, kill government agents? <laughs> kill Schmill. Come on, don't, don't look at it that way. Well, yeah, think of it as pest control. It works for me. All right, come on. I can't stay here now. I'm too hip. I gotta go. Okay? I'm out of here. Catalina, hey, I know it's you. What's eating you, baby? I don't love you no more! Well, hey, let's just... Hello? Hail, fellow. Well met. Namaste. Peace, Carl, my brother. Hey, Truth, where you at? Just checking that you were no longer on government business. Where is he? How the fuck would I know, man? He like the devil. Hey, man, you okay? Everything is transient. Uh, whoa, man. Uh, I'm passing through life same as every man. Okay. Do you have any idea what you're doing for Torino? Nah, I seem to be on the need-to-know basis. Oh, no, man. Two lies don't cancel each other out. You know that. We pay them to lie to us. Is that what our founding fathers wanted? No more, friend. No more. We're not alone. Get off me, man. What's going on? Everything is going on. Don't you get it? There's a place, not even on the map. A train is about to leave. It can explain better than I ever can. Boy, this is going to blow your fucking mind! We got work to do. You better drive. I'll explain. The elegance does not even touch it.
Hey, True, do we have a plan here? Go, go, go! Hey, hold up, dude! 